Right, and that's the moment of truth, guys. I'm actually going to power up now, see what happens. All the connections are there, it should work, fingers crossed. And there we have it. Hurrah, success, as you can see. If you look on there, oh, go that way. Look, 3.1 ROM. Yes, so it's worked. Um, the reason for delay is because um, back in those days, in '93, '94, whatever, that sort of circuit, that sort of era, uh, some hard drives were very slow and spinning up to full speed. So what the Amiga operating system did, it had like a 30 second delay to allow the hard drive to, because what would happen is the hard drive wouldn't spin up fast enough from a cold boot and then it goes to this screen rather than the actual boot off the hard drive. So that's why you had that long delay. So all that leaves me to say is to say thank you so much to Retro Sofa. Retro Sofa. I love you man, in a non gay way that is. And I wouldn't have been able to done this without your uh, tutorial, so I thank you so much for that. And uh, as it happens, while we while we've got this going, why not I just test my uh, shadow dancer while I'm at it and see if that works. I won't be able to play it because I haven't got any joysticks down. My joysticks are in the loft, so let's see that boots. I don't know if you can play it on keyboard, but I don't have choice unfortunately, so I won't have to play it today. It'll have to be another time. And as you can see, there's my Amiga. She's alive, she's alive, she's booted. Lovely, so now I've got a spare Amiga with four gig with a 4 gig hard drive in it, so my next video I should be um, again <laughs> relying heavily on Retro Sofa, he's a top man, uh, one of his guides on how to partition and format the hard drive, so I'll have a quick look at that again just to refresh my memory and use his guidance to um, partition my hard drive. Anyway guys, that's it for now, thank you so much for being patient and bear with me, and until next time.